How much protein do I need to eat every single day? That is a question I get all the time. So it is recommended to have a minimum of 0.8 up to 1.2 of grams of protein per day per pound of gold body weight. So what does that mean? If you would like to weigh 140 pounds and that's your gold body weight, then you need 140 grams of protein a day. If you were at your gold body weight, let's say 120, then you need 120 grams of protein a day. Now we do it based off our gold body weight because you don't need protein for body fat. So since I'm not there in person to do like a caliper test or actually determine it myself, the easiest way is to say, well, okay, imagine your body without all that extra fat, what would that be? Because we only need it on the body minus body fat. So I hope that that makes sense. That's why we ask it in those terms. So what does, bigger picture, what are grams, right? When I first started, I had no clue what macros were, let alone grams of protein. That was like a foreign language. So when we understand that every food item and drink is made up of different macros, right? It's either going to fit in the category of carbs, fats, or proteins. And so when you have a food item, flip it over and look at the label and it will tell you how many grams per serving is in that item. So one slice of ham is typically the one I eat five grams of protein. And I just get that right off the label. So it's really easy to see and calculate. So if I'm telling you, you need 140 grams of protein by the end of the day, you would then count four of those slices of ham at five grams a day. You've just got 20 grams of protein. So that needs to add up all by the end of the day between your drinks, your food, your protein shakes to hit at least 140. And it's really important to try to nail that number every day. Now, sometimes foods don't have labels and that's when I have some sort of tracking system. Personally, I use the first form app. So I just type in whatever it is I'm looking for. And someone in the system has already entered it and it says, great, four grams of protein per you know serving size. I trust that that's right. A lot of other people use my fitness pal. And so you're able to get that information and that's where I track. Also, I use it like, again, the first form app, that's how I track all of my numbers by the end of the day. So I have a running total and then I can just look at it and say, like it has a little bar graph and I'll say, yeah, you're 60% to your goal for today. Now you're 80%. So those little things are really helpful in being able to hit that target goal for the end of the day. So why though, why do we need protein? Why is it so important? I also, when I first started, will admit, I just assumed when I, when I did my strength training sessions and I lifted at the gym, or if you're at your house, that that's how my muscles grew bigger and stronger, right? I'm, I'm lifting weights. Shouldn't they just grow from that? I had no clue that I was only demolishing them, right? I was tearing them to pieces in the gym. They were not going to grow back bigger and stronger on their own. You have to have enough calories and protein for those muscles to grow back bigger and stronger. So that's why I didn't see very fast results um, that first year because I was eating probably half of what I should have been and I also had pretty crappy protein shakes. And so I just wasn't seeing growth because I didn't have enough protein to rebuild those muscles. So please know you cannot just lift and exercise but not get enough protein or calories and expect to have these massive gains. Keep in mind also that the more protein you have in your day, right, will help build those muscles, which will then burn more calories, which will then help you lose weight and lean out. So I know a lot of people say, hey, I want muscles, but I don't ever see them because I've got too much body fat around it. If you're not hitting your protein, you won't be growing the muscles, you also will not be losing as body, much body fat as fast as you would like. So there really is a huge um, piece that protein plays. Calories, right, determine if we lose or gain weight, depending on the number, but protein determines what we look like when we get there. It's responsible for your body composition, meaning it's going to change your body by growing the muscle big enough to see and then leaning it out, reducing body fat. So I urge you, please, please hit your protein goals every single day. You don't have to start all at once, right? You don't have to say, oh my gosh, I'm going from 70 to 160 grams of protein. Just increase it by 10 grams um, every couple of days or, or every week, you know, just find one more protein bar or look at protein bars and find one that have more grams, uh, better quality nutrients or add a protein shake every day. Right? So you can slowly increase. I always suggest just by serving sizes. So if I'm having three slices of ham, then I'll add another one. And there's five more grams of protein. Um, at the end of the night, I get questions like this often of, Hey, I'm already at my calorie number, but I'm short on protein, right? It's like that, that maddening puzzle. I always say, eat more protein. I don't even care if it puts you over in your calories. I just choose that wisely. That doesn't give me a ton of extra carbs and fats because I don't want to go over on those also. So for me at the end of the night, I use my formula one protein shake because it's super low calories and there's really no fat or carbs. And so I just get straight protein over 20 grams for hundred calories. And it's not filling because a lot of times I'm not hungry that time of night. Uh, formula one is not a filling because it's isolate. So it'll just go straight through your system, but it does give you the grams you need. So I hope that answers that question. Always hit your protein. 
Um, if you're worried about hitting calories and carbs and fats and all these macros, stop. The only one I want you to focus on is hitting protein. That's the first one you want to focus on. And then if you can hit protein, then look at maybe calories and then look at maybe tracking your carbs and fats. But that's the importance of how much protein can do for your body, that that's the first thing we always want you to focus on. So I hope that this has helped in kind of understanding the need for why we have it. Um, and if you're not seeing progress, check the amount of protein you're eating each day. And then more importantly, the quality of protein. We want as much whole food as possible. But then if you are supplementing with a lot of shakes and bars, make sure you have a slow uh, processed low temperature protein shake or bar that has not been denatured, meaning there's no nutrient value. So yeah, it may say 22 grams of protein, but you're maybe getting eight because it's denatured. So that's why I like what I use because it's very low temperature. So it's gonna make a big difference and you should see results. So uh, please let me know if you have any more questions, um, hit your proteins every single day, take it baby steps if you need to, don't let it overwhelm you.